Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, back with another tutorial, and this is actually part 3 of the creating a background um, tutorials. Uh, part 1 was basically doing the modules, putting an effect on them. Part 2 was the side borders. Now we're going to be focusing on the main background pretty much and showing a few things you could do. Um, first thing, really simple, I'm just going to go in with it because it looks really nice and just a couple effects that you can do. Uh, you've seen this, uh, you can call it bokeh, you could call it, uh, some people call it fireflies, it's just um, different ways of calling it. But make a new layer above the background, go to brush and you want to select um, you can either use a solid brush like this, or you can use one of these blurred, uh, softer brushes. Um, I'm going to use a softer one, so it uh, blends in a bit more. Right, now you want to go to Brush Dynamics at the side here. If you don't have these, go to Window, and then Brush, and then it will be here. Uh, you want to set Shape Dynamics on, Pull Size Jitter up, Scattering on, make sure Scattering is all the way up. Go to Transfer, make sure Opacity is all the way up. Then you just got to tick off airbrush and smoothing. Uh, smoothing. You can't do anything with them two options there. Right now you just want to kind of basically um, click and drag like a tiny bit like I'm doing. Sometimes it won't show up because it will land in a different place. Um, and you kind of just want to do it until you've got them um, scattered around a bit. Uh, if uh, sometimes they're coming out a bit too big, you could change the size just to get some smaller ones in, like that. And uh, sorry if there's like squealing noises coming from outside because it's little kids that I want to drop kick. Anyway, <laughs> so you want to set it to overlay. Uh, you don't have to, but it is a lot better if you do that. Um, that's pretty much really simple, um, but it gives it a good effect. So I'm going to leave them on. I'm going to make sure they're not standing out too much, though. Um, and there. Okay, so next. Um, using pictures in backgrounds. Uh, I just uh, shut my window, so you couldn't hear all that rubbish. So I'll cut out that qu bit quickly. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, you want to go to Google. And uh, I'm basically going to show you um, some pictures that you can put in. Well, not specifically, you can use any pictures, but how to put them in and make them look good. And uh, I'm just going to use space, for example. I have actually done this in one of the new um, PSD layouts in the PSD pack, which is coming out soon. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I've used space pictures as well. It looks really nice. And uh, I'm about to show you how to use it. Um, so you want to well you can use Google or any other image place and just type in whatever you want it to relate to uh, a good thing to do is go to here and type and hit any size and then uh, not any size hit large and then you'll get bigger pictures so it fills up more of the background and uh, if we just take mm, which one um, if you can find one which relates to the color that you're using uh, that would be good if not then you can change the color anyway but it's up to you. Um, I'm just trying to find a good one. Uh, it's also good a good idea to use. Um, this one's got some lettering out, but I can cut that out a bit. Uh, it's also good to use. Ugh, I'm losing my words here. Sorry about that. It's also good to use ones with black or dark backgrounds as it fades. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I couldn't get that. I don't know what's going on. All right. Here we go. Yeah, as I was saying, it's also good to use dark backgrounds where when you use the screen effect, it will look good. So I'm going to just copy and paste that on there. Uh, I'm going to cut out this bottom bit quickly so it hasn't got text on it. Usually I won't do this on layouts I make. Um, I've only just done it recently. Uh, I'm not sure why. It just kind of came from nowhere. And... Um, Obviously, it's not been done before. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I wouldn't usually use it, like use people's pictures and stuff. But it can look good, and you might want to use it. So that's what I'm showing you. You want to set the option to screen, and then it will get rid of the darkness. But then you will get lines like this bit here. Um, 
all you want to do is go to eraser and then select the soft brush make it pretty big uh, go around the edge and just cut out the lines so you can't see lines and stuff um, now this is orange I don't really want that color because it doesn't match um, so I'm going to use hue and saturation mask that over by holding down alt and clicking in between the two layers and just sliding this along until we get a green colour um, kinda like that light green there and then we can do, you could use the other side instead that looks better so basically just by putting that picture in oh, because I've moved it over I need to do the lines again just over here uh, that's giving it a nice little effect we will find another one now don't know why I opened up store there, that was good. Uh, find another one. <clears throat> um, you can pretty much use anything. Uh, as I said, try and find something dark. Uh, this one looks pretty good. You don't want to use too many though. Um, uh, just basically do the same thing which you've done with the first one and you can make some really nice backgrounds just by using these pictures and uh, it's pretty simple and you get a great effect in the end so why not um, yeah maybe the pictures aren't yours but there's no copyright really so there's nothing to be worried about and uh, why not I don't know um, makes it look nice alright so they're pictures um, obviously you can use any pictures as I said I just use space for an example but that's a good way to use the screen effect uh, by getting rid of the blackness can use overlay but sometimes it won't look as good like there it doesn't look as good there but um, yeah alright so next things um, you want to kind of use some uh, <clears throat> some pen tool. Um, first things first, we're going to go to the modules again. I'm going to click on the effects. I'm going to go to outer glow and make a pretty big outer glow. Um, if you want to copy them settings, I'll just leave them up quickly. And also, you're going to want to change this to overlay so it kind of blends in like that. Now. I don't usually use flares that much anymore, but I'm going to use them now um, because you can't really see them, but it's a good way to do this effect. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Once again, that's twice in one tutorial, my phone started ringing, so I had to cut that out. You know. Anyway, where was I? Um, find a flare. A lot, you should have a flare somewhere. Um, Everyone has flares nowadays. Uh, I can't really remember where mine are, so I'm just gonna have to do a bit of research through my files. Um, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna use the this one. Um, it's good if it's black and white because you can change the color. If it's not black and white, obviously you can still put it back and white. All right. Now, what you want to do on this flare uh, if it's got obviously it's bright so you want to take your brush out go to black and you want to just click around make sure you haven't got the same brush as before so it doesn't come out with a bokeh effect now just make it a soft brush make it pretty big and just go like this you don't have to be accurate at all just I'm pretty sure you know how to use flares anyway so I'm not going to go for a running column shoe on that All right, now I'm going to copy that um, bring it on to here, I was, didn't know where I was then, right, paste it in, I'm going to go to edit, transform, uh, CW or CCW, doesn't really matter, uh, alright, basically what you can see I've done is put the flare just on the side, go to screen and it will kind of give it a glow effect, now that looks okay as it is, but you want to change the colour as well, mask another layer the alt trick remember 
go to a light green, go to gradient, put that over and select overlay and it will come out with a green flare like that. Now flares can look good if you use them right. Don't overuse flares, um, it's the reason I don't use them anymore because they are too overused, no, in no intention to stop doing it, I'm not saying stop using flares, I'm just saying that's my reason. Um, so yeah, you might, I'll need to move that up. So as you can see, you get a nice effect on the flares and the glowing sides. Um, you can, if, uh, in fact, why have I missed out brushes? Brushes is one of the main things. Um, find some brushes. Um, I will be bringing out some brushes soon. Um, I'm going to do something where you'll get some brushes so if you want to wait for that that should be out soon um, I'm starting to forget where my brushes are uh, here we go nope they're not in there in fact I should have some on here um, got quite a few uh, let's see just use some lightning ones. Um, using using brushes is great. Uh, if you've got a glowing one like this, using brushes which I'm using now look really good because lightning just like glows and it looks the same as like it's got that whole glowy effect with the um, flares coming out the sides. So you're just gonna kind of mess around with them. I'm not going too accurate on this, so it's not gonna look the best, but you see what I'm doing. Um, put overlay on, if you don't think it's bright enough you can always duplicate it so you've got two and it kind of makes it a lot brighter like that and uh, you can end up with a pretty nice effect using brushes so wait for my, if you want to wait for the brushes which I'm going to bring out soon and then do this effect that's fine, if you want to find some I'm sure you can find some over the internet um, and brushes are not easy, they're not hard to use at all um, but I think that is it for part three Part four question mark? Um, maybe. Uh, if I can think of something which I can put in a tutorial which is long enough, then I will go ahead and do it. But for now, that was part three. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll actually link them lightning brushes in the description so you can get them right now. Um, so enjoy them. Uh, thanks a lot. Like the video if you enjoyed it and it helped. And I'm strapped. Peace.